Uh, downtown Los Angeles, we're seeing sunshine. Coastal communities, you're pretty much the only one still seeing that marine layer. It is 102 already in Lancaster, 106 in Palm Springs, 83 for Ontario, 75 in Burbank, 60 still in Oxnard, and 68 for Long Beach. Now, all of us closest to the coast, we are seeing temperatures cooler, but notice how it's exactly the same for those inland spots as it was just 24 hours ago. Air quality, not so great. Good to moderate closer to the coast. We're also seeing good air quality for Palmdale, but all of this, the red, that's unhealthy air for everyone, not just sensitive groups. The winds are picking up this afternoon. We'll start to see the gusts 20, 25 miles per hour. That's what yellow is on here, but stronger for these interior sections. Purple, that's 40 to 50 miles per hour. So again, elevated fire danger for these interior spots. That's where we'll see that we're already seeing triple digits. You've got the gusty winds and then these numbers expected to dip into the single digits. So relative humidity so low. If a fire should start, it has the potential to spread very, very quickly. Excessive heat warning for everyone in pink expires at 8 o'clock tonight. So does that heat advisory for everyone shaded in orange. If you live along the coast, you haven't really felt the heat like all of those areas that are inland. So quite a difference. 100 degrees here, 70 degrees for those coastal spots. If you're quite if you're not quite ready for those triple digits to be over, uh, I'm not sure how many of you there are left, but we are still going to see them for several more days. Marine layer looks like it's going to stick around for some of the coastal spots as we head into the afternoon. You might see an hour or two with mostly sunny skies, but you can count on seeing partly cloudy conditions today. Again, marine layer returns tomorrow morning. You saw the green show up on there because it is going to be pretty foggy and thick once again, but we should see some nice clearing for the 4th of July holiday as well. 10 day trend showing you this because it goes out farther than those seven days. We will be mild after the 4th as far as all the way through Saturday and then temperatures for all of us start warming back up. So we're going to have another period where temperatures are above average within the the next eight to 10 days. San Gabriel Valley today, 86 degrees. We'll stay in the mid 80s tomorrow, cooling off just a little bit. So temperatures will hover just below average Wednesday through Sunday. For Orange County today, 81 degrees. We'll stay in the low 80s for the entire week. You'll wake up to cloud coverage, fog in the morning, but then you'll see sunshine by the afternoon. For the Santa Clarita Valley, 100 degrees today. Then we're into the 90s and the 80s return on Wednesday. So that'll be nice and comfy for the rest of the week. Inland Empire, 98 degrees today, mid 90s for your Tuesday afternoon. And then temperatures in the low 90s for the rest of the week. And finally for the high desert, 108 today. Gusty winds for the next several afternoons. This is giving you elevated fire danger, but we'll be back into the upper 90s tomorrow. And that will feel nice compared to those temperatures we felt recently. And then we'll be in the mid 90s for most most of the rest of the week, but notice how Sunday those temperatures start warming right back up. And that's what I just showed you on that 10 day extended forecast. More warm weather is on the way.